All right, we got some more managerial news. Ron Washington being hired as the manager of the Los Angeles Angels. He is getting another shot or another SHIT, as Jeff Passan put it on Twitter earlier today. Uh, that was hilarious, by the way. Jeff Passan's breaking the news. He's probably writing fast. And he does have the edit button uh, because there's that now. But he goes and is like, Ron Washington gets another SHIT with the Angels. John Heyman was on it. Like, John Heyman reported it first. It was just super funny. And then Passon follows it up with a, a tweet about there's typos and then there's that with a poop emoji. So that was hilarious. Jeff Passon seems like he such a great personality. And when he messes up, he makes fun of himself. It's totally okay, you know? Um, but anyway, Ron Washington with the Los Angeles Angels. Him and Buck Showalter, it seemed like those two guys were the two finalists for this job, or definitely the two that, they were one of the finalists for this job. Um, and those were two that were, you know, they, they had experience, experienced managers. Both guys probably are guys that, you know, want to run things a certain way, want to do things, you know, the way that they know how to do it. And I think Artie Moreno is one of those owners in baseball that he wants to make a move that people know, like they know that guy, they know that move. Um, I don't see Artie Moreno as a guy that is going to do something like the Padres did and bring in Jace Tingler, who no one had ever heard of. Like that, Artie Moreno is not that type of guy, at least in his latest moves. You look at for agency moves, he, he, he can make big splashes. Sure, have they worked out? No, but he makes big splashes. And when I'm saying working out, I mean, Shohei Otani's been great, but I'm talking about, like, in making the postseason, winning a World Series, right? But he's not afraid to go out and get those guys. He brought in Joe Madden when Joe Madden was done uh, with the Chicago Cubs. Um, you know, Phil Nevin, even as the interim, like, people know who Phil Nevin was. People know who Ron Washington is. They know who Buck Showalter is, if Buck was going to get the job. I didn't see Phil Nevin going, or excuse me, Artie Moreno, because I, I get it, Manasian's the GM, but Artie Moreno runs things there. That's why I'm saying Artie Moreno. I didn't see Artie Moreno going with the guy that no one had heard of before. Even, like, people that I guess the Angels were interested in, maybe, or talking to, it was former, like, Angels legends. It was guys that you have heard of. It was Tory Hunter, you know, guys that you, it's like, oh, okay, well, you know who that guy is. Angels fans know who that guy is. And, you know, Ron Washington, if we just talk about how he might do with the Angels here, I think it's going to be tough. Mike Trout, he's not a guarantee to be healthy. Great player, but he's not a guarantee to be healthy. Will this Ron Washington move help the Angels keep Shohei Otani? I think, I think a lot of it's going to be about the fit. And I think this can, more than the money, like he's going to get paid regardless of where he goes to. So, I mean, with Ron... I think it could help them. I don't think it can hurt them. I think it could help them. But ultimately, I think Shohei's probably already made his decision on like the teams he is considering, like five or six teams probably that he's considering. The Angels are probably on that list. I think some fans would say, why are you considering the Angels? But I think he likes being comfortable, and it sure seems like the Angels made him comfortable while he was there in Anaheim. Um, so... I don't know how much influence this manager hiring is going to be, is going to have on Shohei Otani returning. And the Angels, I mean, let's let's face it. They're playing in an American League that is going to have a lot of wild card contenders next year. Maybe the Guardians, but you look at the AL East, the Orioles, the Yankees, the Red Sox. Like, those two teams there, Yankees and Red Sox, they don't want to be at the bottom of the division this next year. Um, Tampa Bay Rays are obviously always there. And then you go to the AL West with the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners, Texas Rangers coming off of obviously winning the World Series. Like, I think the Angels can have a, a good team, but I think a lot of it's going to be dependent on injuries and health. And last year with Phil Nevin as the manager, like they were in postseason positioning, but then a ton of injuries happened, you know, multiple happened when the team was here in San Diego, uh, which is obviously where I'm from, if you don't know my background. And, uh, yeah, like, things went right down the toilet from there. 
Um, so, Ron Washington, managing experience, World Series experience, wasn't able to get the job done, didn't go win the World Series as the manager, but he has been very influential with the Braves since he um, voluntarily left, I guess, with the Texas Rangers with some of the problems that were reported. Um, and, and people can change. I know that's going to be brought up about Ron Washington, but people can change, and that was a while ago, and so hopefully he has changed a little bit, and he knows some mistakes that he has made, and he's better for it, but he's well-respected around the game of baseball. So I think this is the right move for the Angels. Um, you know, with Mike Trout, you want to you wanna keep Mike Trout happy, and I think hiring someone like Ron Washington can, he can keep Mike Trout happy happy now i think what's going to speak louder than the manager hiring is what are the what are the angels going to do here in the off season are they going to bring shoya tani back are they going to make a strong push to do that if not are they going to bring in some good for agents or are they going to kind of sit there with mike trout and be like yeah we know where we're at probably not going to go win the world series we don't view ourselves as world series contenders and then mike trout's going to be like i don't care if you hired juan washington i, I want out of here you know, kind of like Damian Lillard with the Portland Trailblazers. You know, he, he wanted to be loyal, stay loyal, but enough was enough. So we'll see what happens here with this Angels team in the offseason. I like this Ron Washington move. Buck Showalter, I probably would have liked it as well um, just to get a, a name out there. And Buck Showalter is someone that has made the postseason plenty of times. Um, the Angels, they needed to get someone in there that was known. I don't think hiring a rookie manager was going to be the best thing for them when maybe they should rebuild. But with Artie Moreno as the owner and Mike Trout in his prime, like they're, it feels like they need to, to keep trying, at least keep trying to win here for the next few years. And then if you can't do it then, then you might have to pull the plug.